Hello everybody, I'm Nora Burrows. I am doing a block exchange with my friend based on this bird panel. There's eight of these birds. I'll give you a closer look at the birds in a minute. Uh, but let me tell you about the exchange. It's a little hard to explain. It's a little weird, but based weird in a wonderful way because you know that's what I like. So anyway, we're gonna start with one block. So she has a whole set of eight bird panels and I have a set of these same eight bird panels. And we're each gonna start with one and make a border around it and then exchange. And then we're gonna take that one and add a border with no bird. And then I think exchange, we still have to work out some of these details, but then we're gonna add, um, so the birds are eight by eight. So then we'll add an eight by eight border with a bird somewhere along the border. So it'll continue to expand out and the birds will kind of end up all over the place as with each border we add a bird. Not every border will have a bird. So just follow along with me. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Let's take a look at the panel and I'll show you what bird I'm working on first. I should also mention that we went to the quilt shop together and we got some fabric that we can each use in this quilt so that it will kind of be cohesive in some way. So we can obviously add our own fabric, but we each kind of have a stash of the same fabric to work with. The other kind of exciting thing that I love about this project is that her and I have completely different tastes in everything quilt related, fabric, quilts, aesthetic, color. She's like over here and I'm over here. We, we are complete opposites. So picking out the fabric was a lot of fun and hopefully these quilts will end up being, you know, extra unique because of that fact. Hopefully we won't end up with two quilts that both of us deeply dislike. We'll find out, but let's take a look at, the, look at this bird panel. Here are the eight birds. So they kind of ha all have this newspapery looking fabric in them, which is kind of cool. I will also show you the fabric that we picked out which I think on this first border that I'm making, I'm actually not gonna use any of that fabric at all, which is kind of funny. Um, but I'll show you the fabric that we picked out together. And then I do have a thought for what I'm gonna do first. Here's number six. And they have like a kind of a variety of color because they all have like these little pops of pinks and reds and greens and blues, really pretty. So I think we can get really creative with that. And then I already cut the one out. This is number seven. I already cut the one out that I'm gonna to use today, which is this one here. It's a sweet little bird. So I think, let me tell you what I'm thinking. I feel like this blue grunge polka dot will really go nicely with these pops of blue here. So I was gonna do just a very, very thin border of this blue. And then, then it gets a little bit strange and I, I might do something totally different, but this is what I'm thinking at this point. I'm thinking then I'll add, cause you know, you have this like pure white here. So I have the pure white background and then it's kind of like this bluish gray penciling looking sketch of some roses. And then I was gonna applique on top of this, um, like a vine of leaves using this but I'm not sold on that. I kind of don't love that. I wish I had a different green that went more with this, these pops of green, but I, I as crazy as it seems, I, I really don't. Um, so I'm not exactly sure. I'm gonna start with just adding the blue border because I am pretty confident about that. And then I'll figure out what I wanna do next. Let me show you the fabric that we picked out. So we have this one, super cool, right? All these different shapes, even just like these little specks of orange and the lines of orange, so cool. And then like the melting pyramid, awesome. Uh, we have these, this is a batik with a lot of different colors because as I mentioned, these blocks are so colorful and have so many different colors. Then we have this purple, which I actually think this purple and this batik, I think it's possible that we picked out this to go with an exchange that she and I are doing in the fall. I'm not sure, but I figure since, you know, since it's, it's an exchange we're doing together, it doesn't matter if I use it on this project. So I have the purple. I'm not sure any of the blocks actually have purple. I'm sure that they do. <clears throat> and then I also have this, um, this batik. This is not a batik, it's, but it does look awfully like watercolor-ish, doesn't it? It's really cool. 
I love this one. So I have that, and then what else? There's one more. This is super fun. This is really watercolor-like, and the whole thing is just really different depending on where you look at it. Really beautiful. Let me turn it around. I think it's upside down. Here, let's see if I can get a, a better shot here. So here's one side, very pinks and yellows, and then there's the other side with the greens. I wonder if I could actually use some of these greens um, for my leaves. I think that actually might work better than this, right? And then I think I need a different background than this, than this white floral. So I think maybe if I have a different background, maybe even like this as a background with some leaves cut out. I don't know, I have to think it through. But let me start with that blue border. Here's my finished bird block, the first one. So I think that the way that we're doing it is that this will be the center one and then I'll receive Muna's block. I did ask her if I could use her name. Um, so my friend that I'm doing the block exchange with, Muna, she'll give me her block that she's made. I'll give her this one, and then I'll add on to hers. Uh, for the leaves, let's get a close-up of these leaves. I think they came out pretty well. I used the method where I used freezer paper. I cut out freezer paper, the shape of the leaves, and then applied them down. And for the vine, um, I made bias tape using a bias tape maker. Uh, so, so this is good. I do wish there was more contrast between the background and the leaves. Up close, it looks like there's a lot of contrast, but when you back up, it does get a little murky. It'd be nice if it, if it stood out a little bit more, but all in all, I'm really happy. And for the leaves and vine, I did use this fabric that Muna and I picked out. It's the same fabric as this. And what I love about this fabric is that it's so different depending on what part of it you're looking at. And it's just like very, very painter-like. So the other side is kind of the more greens that I used. So that's that. I'm looking forward to receiving Muna's block. More to come. I videoed that all a couple months ago and then it took us a while to exchange our blocks. We're kind of not on a specific time frame, like exchanging every month or every couple weeks. We kind of just do it whenever both of us are done with the block. So I have Muna's block now. I'll show it to you. It's amazing. As I mentioned, her style and my style, very different, but I think that they're complementing each other well so far in these blocks. Next step, I need to add a border onto her block, and my border needs to, I think, not include a bird. I think the next border going around does not include a bird. I need to double check with her, actually. Um, but let me show you Muna's block. Here is Muna's block. Isn't it great? I wish I had the two blocks to put next to each other because I think they actually complement each other really well, even though they're going to be in two separate quilts. Muna's block is a little bit bigger than my block, uh, which is totally cool. We didn't determine, you know, the size of the borders that we're going to put on. And we could even, you know, we had just, Muna and I had discussed like what we're, you know, quote, allowed to and not allowed to do. And we could even do like one kind of border on two sides and then a totally different size and type border on two other sides. We can really do whatever we want to do. Um, so hers is a little bit bigger. And then she, for her, um, it's kind of funny. It's interesting how two different people kind of visualize the exchange in two different ways. So for example, um, this is the panel here. Let me zoom in. So you can see here's the panel here. And she included some of this kind of background writing. So she had her panel come down farther and she cut it here. For mine, I ended the panel right where um, you know, the bird square ends. And there's no right or wrong answer. I think that they both look awesome, but it's interesting to see how, you know, how we visualize using the panel in a different way. And then Muna obviously um, had these wavy lines. And I've tried to do these kinds of curves and mine, I still need to practice a little more. Mine still kind of come out puckered like. So um, so I appreciate Muna and her, her wavy lines because mine would not look this precise. Uh, she also used only the fabric that she and I picked together. So on the block that I did, I used only a bit. I, the, only, the only fabric that I used that she and I picked out was the leaves, the applique leaves. Those green leaves were the only, were from the fabric that she and I picked out. Everything else was from my staff. Now Muna went a different direction and she used only fabric that she and I picked out. 
Again, there's no right or wrong. We can really do whatever we want with this project, which is so cool. Um, so I also like how Muna's comes all the way, this border comes all the way down to the end here and up to the top. I think that's a nice effect. So for the next part that I'm gonna put on, I really wanna use some of these kind of pinks in here, some of the colors from, from the, the leaves. Muna obviously used um, kind of these purples here in hers and some of the green here is in this inner border So she hit these two colors and I'd like to kind of hit some of these other ones. I do have some thoughts I was also thinking at some point, you know, I have this random fabric and I could just like applique a bird kind of like in the corner I don't know. I'm not really sold on that, but I'm keeping this fabric with this other fabric um, just in case so this is fabric that Moon and I picked out and I'm thinking about using that on this round and because it does have these you know flecks in the same color I could do some kind of you know border around like that and then I think I was doing thinking of doing like a background in this and then using this pink to maybe do some like scallops so the scallops would be in the pink and then the background of the scallops would be in this gray but now now I'm just not loving that but that's the update that I have to give you I need to think about it I'm not gonna work on this project today but I do want to start working on it soon because I don't want too much time to go before you know we moon and I don't want to lose steam we want to have it be casual and on our, on our own time frame but we also want to keep things going so I am gonna kind of pull some other fabrics I think this week and keep thinking about it but this is what I was thinking a little bit ago I don't know. So Muna has my block that I made. She's adding on a border. I'm adding a border to hers and then we'll switch again. Keep going back and forth. This is a great exchange. I'm having a lot of fun. Muna is a kindred spirit. She and I also planned a block exchange between the two of us for fall. So when we were at the fabric store, we picked a bunch of these fabrics to do this spring quilt, even though we're already almost through summer and we've only exchanged once. But like I said, we're on no time frame. But so we had planned this one to be for the spring and then we had picked other fabrics while we were there to do one for the fall, something totally different. But I have a feeling uh, that fall one is probably gonna be for the following year because there's no way we're gonna be done with this spring one come fall. Uh, but I'm just having a great time. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.